Hi friends, welcome. So good to be with you. I'm standing here in front of one of the many confessionals that we have here at the St. Rita Shrine. And when we get to the homily part, you'll understand why I'm standing here. How good it is that we are here. Let us continue to pray for all those who have asked for our prayers, for all those from whom we have promised to pray, promise prayers for peace, and especially also for vocations. So let us begin. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property, in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of the servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When the servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had his fellow servant put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt so will my heavenly Father do to you, unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. It's something that we all need, we all long for, and in our Catholic faith, that's why we have these confessionals, to celebrate the Sacrament of Reconciliation, confession, penance, which we are, where we are forgiven of our sins, which all we have to do is ask. Why would we ever be afraid of a sacrament where all we have to do is ask for God's love, forgiveness, and healing, and he so freely gives it? Today's gospel, Jesus is teaching us about compassion that he gives, but how we're called to show compassion to others. That's why he said, should I forgive my brother seven times? He said, no, 77 times. Does that mean that the 78th time we're in trouble? No. What he's saying is, forgive always. Always forgive. Always forgive. And we see how this servant, who was shown the compassion of forgiveness, but was cold, was cold-hearted, and couldn't show that compassion to his brother. And he threw that fellow slave into prison to pay the smaller debt than the bigger debt he was forgiven. And people would understand that, they would know that, and they'd say, why didn't he show compassion? He was shown compassion, but it didn't get to his heart. And see, friends, that's with, with forgiveness with Jesus. He shows us, he forgives us. Every time you look at the crucifix, I hope you look at a love letter from Jesus. A love letter which shows us the way. A love letter where his hands are extended saying, I love you and I forgive you. Go and sin no more. And that's why the confessionals are in churches. I had a man once who said, I don't go to church. You know, there's a lot of uh, phonies there and there's hypocrites. I said, yeah, you're right. And I said, uh, there's room for you too. We can always take one more. So come on in and join us. And if you want to have life being perfect, which we can't be perfect. Jesus doesn't expect perfection. 
He expects faithfulness. And faithfulness means that we will enter this confessional, that we will say, Lord, here I am. I have sinned. I have been weak. And he will be there to show us his mercy, his love, and his compassion, which all lead to his forgiveness. And so, friends, how in life are we like that first servant? The one who has shown compassion, but then we forget what was shown to us. How many times do we pray to Jesus, say, Lord, help me, but then do we then thank him? And so, if you're going to be shown compassion, learn from that and then show compassion to someone else. And how are you and I helping others? By living our life the best way we can. Then we show them the best way to live, and that's all following Jesus. And Jesus says, forgive your brother from your heart. Not seven times, but 77 times, which we know means always. Forgiveness is strength. A lot of people think when you forgive someone, you're being weak. It's absolutely wrong. When you forgive someone, you're being strong and you're showing them the way. By forgiving, I let go and I don't let someone else control me because maybe they've harmed me. Jesus shows us the way. He was that compassionate master who forgave the servant. Let us not be that servant then who then would not forgive his fellow servant. Seven times or 77 times. All times we should forgive. So friends, how good it is that we are here. Let us revel in the compassion and the love of Jesus Christ. And please pray for me as I will have my first parish mission of the of the new school year so join me if you're in the chicago area i'm going to be at saint gerald's parish in oak lawn tonight tomorrow night and tuesday night and i'm so excited about being back there with my friends at saint gerald's in oak lawn illinois but please pray for us as we go on retreat i hope we'll all have a great new week let's continue to pray for peace pray for vocations pray for all on the prayer list and pray for each and every one of us. And let us always remember, go into this confessional, receive Jesus' love, forgiveness, and healing, and always forgive those who have hurt you. How good it is that we are here. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.